Shout out to all my beautiful nature lovers out there. It's your boy Ian, aka Serious Crow, here today to drop the first course in the lit underground's history, the spiritual ecology course. And what is spiritual ecology? Spiritual ecology is about understanding our spiritual connection with nature. And even more important than that, developing a day-to-day -day reciprocal relationship with nature. And in this course, we are going to be covering five texts, five books that are seminal texts in the spiritual ecology field. And I am also going to be providing and showing you guys in nature field work on how to create that reciprocal real, uh, relationship. This is a harmony between pen and sword to activate your guys' ecological consciousness in a way that has never been done before, might I say, for free on the internet. Yes, everybody, this is a free course. And not just free to watch, but I am going to be reviewing and editing your essays, book reports, and journal entries for free till the end of time because I understand that the first step in changing the world is waking up our eco ecological consciousness on a mass level, a mass awakening to that because we are nature. There is an axiomatic relationship no matter what you believe with us and nature and all the different kingdoms relationships with each other is also affecting us. So if you guys would like to sign up for the course, um, hit the link in the description below or go to the lit underground.com dash courses dash spiritual or slash courses slash spiritual dash ecology. I think that is, and you're going to head get on this page, right? Actually, you're going to end up right here, the course page. And it's going to say it's closed and it's currently closed. But if you hit sign up here for free, you are going to be taken to the free course sign up page. As you see on the screen, you're going to enter your first name, last name, and then your username. I would love if you used your first name or your first and last name for the username, because if I'm going to be commenting, editing on your stuff, it's more personal if I know your name, not jabrome 617 or your mom sucks 555 you know that's fun and then all so when you sign up for this and for the uh, math problem the easy one you can either put the number or the written word out word both work so once you do that you guys are actually going to be taken to this page right here the course info page which i'm going to run through really fast really fast excuse me um yeah, learn dozens of new ways to connect with nature, create a more reciprocal relationship with the earth, and unleash your wildness. And this video is going to be available right here when it's done, and you can also join there again. Um, and just FYI, for those who have signed up and need help, this is where the course is located, but we're going to get to that in a second. So um, there is going to be, to start off with our first bullet, 50 hours plus hours of lectures and field work. I am going to be going over in full, chapter by chapter, all of these books, classics in the field, because this is, like I said, this is better than anything that you'll get in university. A university course is structured. It has a professor that is watching their back because they want to get tenure or do a good job. That is not the case here. This is unleashed, uncensored, and has no time constraint for me or you as a student. There are two options that you can take while taking this course. You can either just watch the lectures and just learn, skip around, or you can engage in the process of um, the assignments, which I'm going to be going over later, but which are, if you complete the course, you're going to be granted a lit university credit towards your lit university degree, which is the lit university start, is dropping in late September of 2021. It is going to be this the counteraction to, or the reply to the university system in the humanities, putting it online for free or you know at a cheap price, depending on the course, and creating a whole new system for people to learn the humanities. So 50 hours of lectures, and there's all, once again going to be field work where I'm going to be going into nature and showing you guys all my favorite techniques to create a reciprocal relationship with nature. Then your reports and papers are going to be reviewed slash edited by me, and I am going to be doing this. I'm hoping that you guys are going to, going to be writing heart-oriented works, not cynical and logical works. I, this course is not for that. This is this course is that, well, I'm just going to say that right now. If, you, if you're going to come into this with a closed mind and a closed heart, this is a great place to open it, but don't bring that into the comments. Don't bring that into the essays. You know, I'm here to give you guys warm suggestions and edits and like really try and help you guys. And if, 
I don't care if your mind has changed, but if you're not trying and you're being cynical about it, then I know that there, there, you can't be cynical and like nasty about something and actually get results. So transform your writing. I'm going to be helping you with your writing and build a writing portfolio that actually is going to give you some sway in the spiritual ecology field because you're going to have, by the end of this, thousands of words written that could be published in whatever format you want online, in a book, in a, for a, paper, a journal somewhere. This, that is why I'm helping you guys write this because there is a certain language. We're going to be studying these authors and their language and mimicking that, but more on that later. And learn to live in harmony with nature. That's what this is really about, everybody. Learning to create contact with nature, creating a phenomenological awareness, which is an axiomatic awareness in this connection with nature right now, not being lost. Because even in this room right now, as we are going to learn in uh, David Abrams' book, Becoming Animal, this room is alive with nature, even though nature is not anywhere near me right now. Um, and you're going to live a happier and more balanced life if this is the, I don't want to say the cure to depression, but like having a deep connection with nature can make you have a better mood. Forest bathing, you know, we've heard that term maybe before. And living a more balanced life because in nature, hierarchy does not exist. There is no, when you're out there sitting with nature and doing these practices, there is no, you can think about things, but it doesn't, it's not reinforced. I'm looking at products I've purchased. I'm in this house. There's, I go outside and, you know, in cars, on roads, all society and civilization is being reinforced upon me, whether, you know, that could be good or bad, but out in nature, that does not exist. And if you are caught up in civilization, you can balance that out with nature and, you know, live hopefully a more meaningful life. Um, explore books with other nature lovers. I don't know how I'm going to get this, um, how I'm going to exactly do this yet, but I want to create this, um, for the lit university members, of course, there's going to be a private forum where everyone's going to talk, but for the free course, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to regulate it, but you're going to be able to talk to, to me about this course and how you feel through your essays and comments and whatnot and questions I'll answer in Q and A's. And, the, uh, and I'm sure, like I said, I'll be sharing you, sharing essays with people's permission. There's a lot that we can do. And, and last but not least, let's co-create this course together. Whatever ideas, feedback, techniques um, that you input in this course, I can reshare so that can help the world. Once again, this is a free course. I'm not trying to get clout or money for this course. I'm putting my heart, I'm putting time into this um, to help others. And so whatever you can, feedback, comments, once again, that you can give me, that would be great ideas. So the course description is spiritual ecology is a process of understanding our spiritual relationship with nature. And I've talked about all this. Um, you're going to be able to go at your own pace. And once again, there's two different paths. You can either watch or you can actually engage with writing with me and the course. And most importantly, the text. Um, wow. There's a typo right here. My bad, everybody. Um, so I was trying to say, and that will be fixed, uh, that the this is a mixture between a typical university course and a like a workshop, a nature workshop, where you go out and you do a plant walk with somebody, or you uh, do a weekend retreat with a, a teacher. That's why I'm trying to uh, make this. But then I'm trying to times ten it. I'm trying to make this loving. At, go at your own pace and dive actually deep into the books. And guess what? There's going to be no time wasted. There's going to be no comment. If you've ever been in a university course, the people are making uh, dumb comments during the lecture and time is wasted and you can't go as deep as you want to go. I am shooting for the smart. I'm talking to the smartest people in this course. I'm going to make it as simple and make sure it has it, but I'm speaking to people who I know care. I'm not people who are doing this care. There is no reward at the end of the tunnel for this. There's no you know sheet of paper or like I said, clout that you can get. Um, there will be pre video presentations like this on all 75 books. And let me zoom this in a little bit, everybody. Let's zoom this in. So there's going to be 75 um, chapters, I think, in total. So there'll be 75 presentations on those. And then you'll be making journal entries after those. And then there will be 10 videos on me doing field work in nature and integrating and showing you guys all these ideas. Um, students will write journals, journals after each lecture, book reports after each book, and a final essay at the end. And we'll talk about that more in a second. So let's talk about the required books. First, uh, my process for figuring out these books. 
Um, I'll just speak on in order. Becoming Animal and Earthly Cosmology by David Abram. This is a book of solitudes, a book that talks about phenomenological awareness with nature in probably the best way I've ever seen. Daily connections with nature and how to do them and miss things that, you know, things that we miss on the daily. And that's why it's going to be first. Second, also by David Abram, is spell the, the Spell of the Sensuous. And this is a philosophical book. This actually talks about phenomenology, which is a form of ontology and a study of, con, you know, con, the connecting to consciousness with awareness. And uh, Abrams uh, cites, the book is based off the works of Ponty and Husserl and Heidegger, Deleuze, etc. So that is actually a great book. That's going to be for all the smarty pants out there. Then third, we're going to be reading. It's not in order right now. Mystery teachings from the divine or from the living earth by John Michael Greer. And this is a, and I should say real fast that this is a course for any budget. Like I said, this is a free course. You can find these books online for any budget. I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to tell you where to find them, but of course, you know, you can buy any of these on Amazon, but you can also find them places if you are on a tight budget and maybe can't, um, and maybe are looking for a very, very, very low price. So, uh, the mystery teachings is going to be a more foundational book for us. It's an easy, fast read. And it's going to give us some principles because at the end of this, as a bonus, FYI, I'm going to be giving you guys a free ebook on spiritual ecology. And that's going to be, that's going to be kind of principle based talking about principles. So, uh, that's going to be started. That's going to be built in a sense by John Michael Greer's work. Then we're going to be moving on to Soulcraft, Crossing into the Mysteries of Nature and Psych by Bill Plotkin. And this is kind of a woo woo weird book. And there's, it's kind of a hit and miss. Some of these, uh, actually not really all of them are, uh, all of these are fire, but Soulcraft to some people may be a little woo, but I'm going, it's going to help us. This is going to be the integration book. This is going to be the book that's going to help us get out there and out of our heads and into the moment more so than becoming animal. Then last but not least, eco psychology, restoring the earth, healing the mind by Theodore Rozak. And this is a compilation about, uh, things of eco psychology is that what they call it. And it's about 25 essays. So we're going to have 25 different lectures. That's, they're pretty short. But this is going to be just a cool uh, cumul accumulation of a uh, culmination, excuse me, of everything. So let's talk about assignments, everybody. All assignments are optional. However, if you want to gain a credit toward your lit university degree, you need to do everything. And I'll talk about formatting and submissions in a second. So journal entries are going to be 100 to 200 word, just musings, just ramblings from your mind, um, intuitive ideas. After every chapter, after every lecture, you guys are just including, actually not including this one, but including the next video in the course, uh, you guys are going to write a short introduction. And if you would like, I'm actually going to put an introduction, uh, introduce yourself uh, journal or uh, section after this one, that's optional. But so you guys are going to write just 100, 200 words really fast about what you just learned, what you got from this, because one, this is going to tr help you think about the book more. Writing about the book is good and you practice your writing, but is also going to help you start building a portfolio for the book report. And then the book report is going to help you build a portfolio for a final essay. And suddenly by the end of this, you're going to have one, a memory of what you thought about the book. So then you can go back 30 years from now and not have to reread the book and understand what happened. But then also, like I said, starting to build a portfolio of your own writing because you can be a beautiful writer and I'm going to show you how to do that in this course and others, and especially through my feedback. So then at the end of each book, you're going to write a 750 through 1500 word formal essay and prompts will be provided by, I would recommend that you choose your own prompt that's unique, but then has an axiomatic base in citations and thought thoughts with what we are learning in these books, uh, the books covered. And um, an intro paragraph, thesis statement, and conclusion paragraph are required. And this is uh, moving toward more of an academic essay. And I'll say it's an academic essay, but I'm going to be a lot more lenient. Everyone's going to pass this section if you submit the right word count and it's relevant. Um, and I'm going to be giving comments on you guys and helping you improve the areas because we're going to have five tries at this before we hit the big essay. I'm going to hopefully we're going to see a progression through the five essays. And then by the end, you're going to be able to write and show off a great essay. Um, and so then the final essay, you guys are going to be writing a 1700 word through 3000 word final, final essay, blending all the text together. This is the big kahuna. And yeah, I mean, this is where you show it all off. And this is going to be 
judge on a approved decline ratio and I'm going to be judging on certain elements and really is it a complete academic essay that I think that you could display to the world and is polished like is it up to the standard of I'm not going to say for journals but for blogging that something that I would post something that I would say is like okay this is good like this is pretty good maybe not great maybe English isn't your first language or your beginning writer but something like I said that I will help you edit it into something that people will be able to read and understand what's being said that's what the goal of this is and there'll be the same requirements of intro paragraphs, thesis statement, and conclusion paragraph. We'll maybe, you know, highly encourage some topic sentences and transition sentences. Um, and once again, it's if I decline your essay, I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you a ton of feedback and help you with the process. And if I decline it again, I'm we're going to literally keep drafting these to complete this. And like I said, by the end, if you actually... Um, listen to some of this advice and it's not going to be like sub that subjective of advice. It's going to be like, this doesn't make sense. This is not connecting. Uh, you know, not like this topic sucks or like, why are you talking about this? No. Uh, unless, like I said, it's just really not relevant. So, um, I have a whole section and a whole videos on formatting the essay and then the essay in Google docs. So let me show you guys real fast how to, um, do the course. So, I'm going to switch screens real fast. Boom. So let's say I am doing the course now. So now I have signed up for this course. So here's where the intro video will be. You guys just watch that. Now we're going to go to, um, we're going to be reading Becoming Animal first. So you're going to read the introduction to Becoming Animal. Then we have a lecture right here. There's me in a hot spring that my girlfriend got bit by a leech in actually. Um, so then we're going to that right after this photo, then I'm, we're going to hit intro journal where you're going to watch this, right? You're going to watch this and um, maybe you're not going to watch this. Like I said, um, if you want to complete the course, maybe you read it, have your own ideas, don't want to listen to me, but want to show me that, you know, and that's cool too. And you're going to hit the intro journal and then boom, here's the instructions and you're going to hit start quiz, type your response here. So I'm just going to actually just copy and paste this real fast. Uh, to show you guys and let me show you guys one more time you're going to come here intro journal you're going to watch and then this journal is going to happen here then we're going to come here type your response boom so then let's say i did that now our quiz results are being recorded and boom and now you're going to say click here to continue if you want to keep going um and then i'll get this and i'll judge it in my own time you know whenever i have time um and boom and now we're at shadow, which hasn't been uploaded yet, but you guys get that. This is, um, I kind of messed up in the sense of like laying everything out, but I've re already recorded, um, the intro and shadow. And that will be, as soon as you see this list, that will be ready. And very soon I'm going to be plowing through these trying to get this course page, uh, formatted was, uh, the big one. So once again, let me know if you guys have any questions then down here. Okay. So real fast, um, down at the bottom of each one is where you submit your book report. So this would be a book report. And like I said, you're going to submit a Google Docs shared link, but make sure to watch the video on how to format and how to share it so that I get it. It's going to cause me headaches if you don't. And then uh, final paper down here when you're done with everything. So everybody, I'm so glad to see you guys here. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are taking the course. Help me out with the you know algorithm. Uh, and yeah, share it with your friends. Let them know what's going on. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Let me know. Like I said, hit me up on YouTube or, or um, for more direct support, go to the Lit Underground dot com slash support and use the support form and i will answer any questions and i will see you guys in the course p